Welcome to Electron Line. In algebra, there are certain types of products of polynomials, or in this case, binomials, that are very unique. They, off, they happen very often, and so we consider them special cases that we should pay special attention to and try to memorize how we do these types of special examples or special cases. So we have some theoretical ways of approaching them, and then we'll show you some examples that then apply what we all have learned. So if we have a binomial like this, a plus b, and we square that, it's essentially a plus b times a plus b. The result of that is that it's the first term squared plus the last term squared plus twice the product of the two terms. So a times b times 2 would be 2 plus 2ab. And so you can see that you can very quickly come up with the solution by simply writing the square of the first term, you write the square of the last term, and then you take the product of the two terms and multiply them by 2. It's exactly the same for a minus b. Again, we take the first term, we square it. We take the last term, square it. Minus b times minus b is plus b squared. And then the product, a times a negative b is a negative ab times 2 gives you a negative 2ab. And then if we multiply a plus b times a minus b, the result is the first term squared minus the last term squared. Now, how do we know that's the case? So let's go ahead and show you why that is indeed true. If we take a plus b and we square it, that's essentially a plus b times a plus b. And then if we apply the same rule as we did before, we take the first term and we multiply times each of the two terms in the second polynomial, or in this case binomial. You take the second term and you multiply times each of the two terms in the second binomial. This would then become a times a, which is a squared, a times b, which is plus ab. Then we take b times a, which is plus ab, and b times b, which is plus b squared. And when we add the like terms together, that gives you a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So you can see that it's very easy and quick to simply say it's the first term squared plus the last term squared plus twice the product of the two terms. If it's a plus b or a minus b, it makes no difference. You get the first term squared plus the last term squared times twice the product of the two terms, which is a minus ab times 2 gives you minus 2ab. And so it works exactly the same for a minus b. Now what about when you multiply these two together? By the way, why don't we show you just so we can be sure that it works that way as well. How about a minus b quantity squared, which is a minus b times a minus b. And so again, the same thing. We multiply the first term times each of the two terms in the second binomial and the second term times each of the two terms in the second binomial. So we get a times a, which is a squared. a times the negative b, which is a minus ab. Then minus b times a, which is another minus ab. And minus b times minus b is a plus b squared. If we then combine the like terms, this gives us a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, just like what we had over here. And finally, what happens to the middle term here? Well, if we have a plus and a minus, then the middle term simply drops out. Let's take a look. So here we have an a plus b times an a minus b. So again, using arrows, you multiply the first term times each of the two terms in the second binomial, and the second term times each of the two terms in the second binomial. So here we have a times a, which is a squared, a times a negative b, which is a minus ab, a b times a positive a, which is a plus ab, and here you can see that, yes, indeed, the middle term will cancel out, and a plus b times a negative b is a minus b squared. And so those two terms drop out, end up with a squared minus b squared, just what we had over here. Those three, those three types of products come up so often in algebra and other kinds of applications that it's really helpful to simply remember how to do those outright without having to go through this process. It will save you quite a bit of time. So let's apply that, what we have over here. So we have x plus 3 quantity squared. So we said it was the first term squared 
plus the last term squared, 3 times 3 is 9, and plus twice the product of the two terms. 3 times x is 3x times 2 plus 6x. If it's a minus, again, you apply the same rule. You take the first term squared, so it's x to the fourth. The last term squared, which is a minus 4 times minus 4, which is a plus 16. And twice the product of the two terms, a minus 4 times x squared is a minus 4x squared, times 2 is a minus 8x squared. See how much quicker it is to do it that way? And then when you see something like x plus 2y and x minus 2y, you know that the middle term simply drops out, and it'll be the first term squared minus, that's important, the second term squared. And so you can see it's a lot quicker if you remember how to do those three special cases. And that is how it's done.